All right, this is lesson 1.4, adding and subtracting polynomials. Our objective, learning objective is, I can, simply, I can simplify polynomials, expressions, using addition and subtracting with exponents of 1 and 2. So that means, when it says exponents of 1 and 2, it means that you will have a, a power of 1 on a variable or a square on a variable. All right, so we're going to focus on vocabulary a little bit for, for a second. All right, a mononomial, all right? A mononomial, and I'm going to write this out real quick, is a letter, a number, or the product of the two. What I mean by that product, it means multiply. Okay, so a monomial is a letter, so like a letter like X, a, a number like 5, all right, or the product. Remember, product means times, so we could say 5X. This is called a monomial, this is called a monomial, and this is called a monomial. All right, we can have decimals as monomials, all right? We can have negative numbers. Let me go ahead and erase some of this. We could have negative numbers as monomials, all right? A non-monomial is something that is not a letter, a number, or the product of the two. All right. So let's talk about a. Let's have an example of a non-monomial. All right. So first, let's uh, a non-monomial could be like uh, 4x minus y. Do you see how there's a plus or a minus between them? If you looked at our examples here, and let's go ahead and put these, what we had, we had 5, we have x, we had, uh, let's put negative 7xy, uh, let's put like something similar to what we had before, negative, I mean, sorry, 0.5x, and we put a 4 here. Uh, we can have a, oh, what was the one that we had before? Uh, we can have 1 half x squared. You could have that, all right? You could have... Um, what do we say? 5x. Those are all monomials. All right? So it's a letter, a number, or the product of the two. Notice that there's no add or subtract in the monomial section. This one is has an add or subtract. Uh, you also, let's say this one right here, you can't have a negative exponent. So that's not a monomial. All right? Now, fraction-wise, you can have 1 half x squared like right here, but in the um, fractions, you can't have a variable in the fraction in the denominator. So a monomial is a letter, number, or the product of the two. Notice we said product, not divide. All right, and just think right here: this one half can be converted into a decimal. All right, where whereas these this one right here cannot be converted into a decimal. All right, let's talk about the degree of monomial, all right? The definition of degree of monomial is the sum of exponents. Now, sum means add, so we're going to add the exponents of its variables. So we're just going to take the variables, and we're just going to add their exponents, okay? A constant, which is just a number, so this word right here, a constant is just a number, like your age. So if you're 14, your, 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 your age is a constant because you're 14, all right. It's just a plain number. There's no letter with it, no, uh, no letter with it. So it's just any number that's just by itself is considered to be a constant. So what are we going to do? We're going to add the exponents. That's what we're going to do. That's called a degree of monomial. So here's my example right here. This is example one. 4p to the fourth, q to the third. So what are my exponents? Well, my exponents are 3 and 4. <coughs> Excuse me. And they're only on the variables. Remember, we only count the exponents on the variables. So 4 plus 3 is 7. So my degree of monomial is 
is going to equal 7. Seem pretty good? All right, so let's try a couple more. What is the degree of monomial? All right, so what is the x exponents on the variable? Well, this one, you don't see one, so you know there's a 1 there. This one, there's no exponent, so you see a 1 there. So the 7 is not a variable, so you can't count that one. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So my degree of monomial here is 2. All right, look at my example C. Example C, what is the degree of monomial? All right, let's see if you can figure it out. All right, you should have said zero. There's not one because this is a constant, remember? There's no, you only add up the exponents on letters, on variables. There's no letter here, all right? So you don't see a letter here. So my degree of monomial is going to be zero. All right, the definition of polynomial. A polynomial is a monomial or a sum or difference of monomial. Now, sum, you should remember, is add, and difference means subtract, right? All right, so a monomial, what we talked about, remember, monomial is a letter or number. So let's take a letter, all right, and we're going to put a plus or a subtract, so plus 5, all right? Because of this, this is called a polynomial, all right? It's a sum of monomials. This is a monomial. This is a monomial. But when you put a plus between them, they are also called, they, it's called a polynomial. All right? Now, something I didn't mention. Monomials have another word called term. So these are also called terms. All right? And the more terms you have, the fancier their name is. Now, we said different. So could I have this here. Is that a polynomial? Yes, because it is, this is a monomial, this is a monomial, and there, there's a subtraction sign between them, so it's a polynomial. All right? So remember, it's polynomials are when you add and subtract monomials up. Notice I didn't say divide, I just said add and subtract. All right, so <coughs> Excuse me. The degree of polynomial, all right? So the degree of polynomial is the degree of the term with the highest degree. Okay, so degree means exponent. So this little word here, degree, means exponent. So we want to know which one is the highest exponent. Well, if you look, you see that we have a 7 here and a 3 here. So which one's the highest? Well, 7 is. So 7 is my degree of polynomial. So my degree of polynomial is going to be, whoops, misspelled it there, polynomial, oh my gosh, I misspelled it again, didn't I? The degree of polynomial here, my answer is going to be 7. Remember, so when we say degree, remember degree means exponents of polynomial, we want to know the highest degree. So let's do this one. What is the degree of polynomial? So what is my highest degree? All right, so the key thing here is sometimes we have, we, if you notice the plus sign here, this is a term and this is a term. All right, when we have polynomials, a plus and a minus separated into different, separate the terms. So this is two terms. Now, each section of this, so like this side over here, and I'm going to put a box around this side right here, we want to know what's the highest exponent. Now, we're talking about the whole thing. Oops, I messed up there. That one's not. And this is a term, isn't it? All right, so what is the most exponents you have here? Now, remember... W has a 2 on it. Z, this is a Z, this is how I write my Z's. The 2 looks like you see right here in 1 half. All right, so this has an exponent of 1. So if you add those up, this one has 3. This one has 4. We're only talking about the exponents added up. This one has 0 because it's not a variable. All right, so which one has the highest? Well, my degree of polynomial is the highest one, and so my answer here would be 4. So my degree of polynomial is 4. Remember, you can add up the polynomials 
I mean, add up the, uh, the exponents with the variables if they're in the same section or what we call term. Standard form of a polynomial is written with terms in order from greatest to least. All right, so remember, degree is an exponent. So we're going to put these in order from highest to lowest. A leading coefficient is, all right, so what is a leading coefficient? A leading coefficient is the coefficient of the first term of a polynomial in standard form. So here's an example. If you notice this, this, is an, this exponent is 4, this is 3, these are 1, and this is 0. Well, this is actually 2 because you get 1 plus 1 is 2. 2. So this is a 3. When you put them in order from highest exponent to lowest exponent, leading means, you know, like you're in a race, you're, in, you're leading, you're in first, you're in front, and coefficient means number. So they want to know what's the first number. Well, my first number is a 3. So when we say leading coefficient, we really want the first number. Coefficient means number. All right. So here we go. We're going to place this in standard form, and then we're going to give the leading coefficient. All right, so we've got to find the highest exponent. And you can see this right here is the highest exponent. And we have to use the negative sign in front of the 7. It follows it. So negative 7, x to the 5th. My next one will be square, so we'll say plus 4x squared. And then it's plus 6x and then plus 9. All right, so what is my, so that's in standard form. So this is the standard form. What is my leading coefficient? So what is the number that is in front? And you should say it's negative 7. So that right there is my leading coefficient. All right, let's try another one. All right, so here's one. So what order does it go in? Remember, the highest exponent goes first. So y to the 6, that's my highest. My next one is y squared, so y to the 2. This one has a 1 on it, so I'll put minus 3y. All right, so what is my leading coefficient? Remember, leading means what's my first number. Now, most people get confused here, and they'll say negative 3. Well, you remember, there is a number here. How many y to the 6s do I have? Well, you should say, Mr. Lover, you have 1 y to the 6. So guess what my leading coefficient is? It is 1, because that's the number in front. So whenever you see a letter and somebody asks you what's the coefficient, remember, coefficient means number. So what is the leading coefficient? You're going to say 1. All right, so this is a big one here, so let's try this one. I want to put this in standard form, and then I want to put it in, um, I want to put it in standard form, and then I want to put uh, the leading coefficient. So what's the highest exponent? I uh, have a 0 here, a 2 here, a 5 here, and a 3 here. So my x to the 5th will be first because it's the highest exponent. The, nine, the 3 is next, so 9x to the 3rd. And then I have minus. Remember, this minus follows the 4, so minus 4x squared. And then we have plus 16. All right, so what is my leading coefficient? And hopefully you notice my leading number, my first number, there's not one there. So we're going to put a 1 there because of how many x to the fifth power do I have? I have 1. So my leading coefficient would be 1. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about classification. All right. Some, every polynomial has some type of name or classification. So what I do is I put a screenshot of a table there. And I also put this in your notes, too, so if you want to print those off and, and use this, this is quite easy. The way you do this is you go by the degree. Remember, degree is an exponent. All right, so the degree is an exponent. All right, so here we go. And terms means how many sections there are. So, and sections are separated by pluses and minuses. All right, so what is my highest degree? So my highest degree is a 3 here, all right? So that means it's cubic. See the 3 there? All right, how many sections are there? Well, see the plus sign? That means this is a section and this is a section. So how many and sections are terms? So this is a term right here, and this is a term. So how many terms do I have? You should say that I have two terms. I have 
like I said, one here, and here's the second one. The plus separates it. So if I have two terms, I go to the two here, and it is a binomial. All right, so I will say binomial. So my what's my name of this polynomial? It's a cubic binomial. So let's look at B. What is the highest exponent? Well, the highest exponent or degree is a 6 or more. And whenever you notice it, and when you have 6 or more, we'll say that it's the 6th degree. That's what we'll call it. We'll actually say it's the 6th degree. If it's got a 10 on it, it's the 10th degree. If it's 100, it's 100th degree. So since this is a 6 and it's the highest exponent, it is a 6 degree. How many sections do we have? How many terms? There's one, there's two terms, there's three terms, there's four terms. Remember what I said earlier. The, the pluses and minuses separate them into terms. So I have four here. So four terms, if you look, is called a polynomial. So I have a 6 degree polynomial here. All right, so look at this one. This one is a negative 2x. So how many, what's the highest exponent? Well, you don't see an exponent, and you're only looking at the variables, the, the variables, so there is nothing on this variable. So I like putting a little 1 there. So there's my 1, and so if you look at your, if you look at your degree, you can kind of see which one it is. So what is my degree for one called my one degree is called linear so this is going to be a linear because of the degree and then how many pluses or minuses do you see I don't see any and this is just one by itself okay where this one had two see because of the plus there this one there's no plus or minus now some of you might say well Mr. Robert, there's a minus there that is a negative you only have a minus when you have a minus between or a negative between two terms okay this one only has one so this is only one so if you look it's a monomial so we're gonna put monomial so this fancy polynomial name is a linear monomial